Aloha, gals and pals. It's your boy Vino, and welcome back to 60 Second Cocktails. Ladies and gentlemen, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Vino, what's up with the Lays? I'll tell you what's up with the Lays. It is January, and it is absolutely freezing here in New York. It is, we had a first snowstorm. It's been below freezing for the last couple of days, and I'm already over it. I cannot do it anymore, ladies and gentlemen. So I am on a mental escape to uh, Hawaii, my favorite place on earth. And I said to myself, since I'm already there mentally, why don't I go and make some Hawaiian themed cocktails for you guys so we can all be there together, sitting on a beach somewhere in Waikiki, right folks? So I'm gonna make three Hawaiian themed cocktails and uh, we're just gonna take ourselves a little mental getaway, right folks? So stick around, cause we're gonna hula down. All right, folks, like I said, today we are making three Hawaiian themed cocktails. Now, these are not like your typical kind of beachy cocktails, you know, the, the blue Hawaiian style cocktails with the tall glass and the umbrella and whatnot like that. These are a little more of a sipper style, a little more sophisticated. You know, Vino likes to keep it sophisticated, right, folks? So the first cocktail we're gonna start off with is something called the Haile Kulani. Now, the Haile Kulani is a hotel in Hawaii, and that's where this cocktail was created, all right, folks? So, let's look at what's in the sauce for the cocktail, right? The first thing we're gonna need is an ounce and a half of bourbon. I'm gonna be using bullet bourbon. I do like that kind of uh, bourbon that has a little bit of rye in it. It does add some nice bite, you know, a little bit of that spice to go along with the corn that you normally get, the sweet corn that you get from the bourbon, all right, guys? Next thing we're gonna use is a half an ounce of lemon juice, all right? Right, beautiful. Freshly squeeze if you got it. All right, and then we're gonna use a half an ounce of orange juice. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is a half an ounce of pineapple juice. All right, if you don't, if you got the freshly squeezed stuff, God bless you. I don't. I use stuff in the can. And then we're gonna do uh, a quarter ounce of Demma Rara syrup. Um, if you uh, don't have access to this or you don't you don't know how to make it, I, I'll put a link down in the description to my girl uh, and the home bartender's recipe. Really easy to make, and I think you guys uh, will find that it's actually a quite delicious uh, syrup to use in your cocktails. All right, so there's our quarter ounce. Then we're gonna do a bar spoon of grenadine. All right. Now we're gonna do one dash of Angostura bitters. Then we're just gonna add some ice to our shaker, right? So the first thing we're gonna do though is put down my martini glass, I'm serving this in a martini glass, all right? Which I had chilling like a villain in my ice. All right, let's go ahead and put in our ice for a little bit more, all right? And you're gonna wanna shake this for about 10, 15 seconds, all right, folks? All right, so I think we gave that a nice then we get that nice healthy shake, right? So let's go ahead and double strain that into our martini glass. All right, folks, there is our last drop of uh, the Haley Kulani. Put this down over here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and garnish that with a little, a little uh, candy ginger that I cut into the shape of a starfish there, because it is Hawaii, right? We'll put that right over here. And there you have it, folks, our Haley Kulani cocktail. All right, now let's go ahead and give this one a little sippy sip and see what it's all about, all right, folks? Oh my God, that is delicious. That is fantastic. You're getting the, you're getting the sweetness from that bourbon being really complimented by the Angostura bitters. Um, you know, you pick up a little bit of the grenadine, uh, uh, the pineapple juice it has, it provides a little bit of that kind of mellow tartness. Man, this is really, this is really fantastic. Woo. Mm. Oh, that is delicious, guys. That is absolutely delicious. We're off to a good start, folks. I'm already feeling myself, my sand in the, uh, my toes in the sand, my ass on the uh, chair there, and, um, Ooh, this guy, I'm sorry, I usually only do one or two sips, but this is delicious. Mm. All right, guys, this is, this, is, this is the bomb. So let's go ahead and make ourselves another cocktail. All 
All right, folks, so the next cocktail we're gonna make is the Hana Lulu cocktail. And this cocktail appears in Harry Craddock's uh, 1930s Savoy cocktail book. And uh, let's look at what's in the sauce, right? So the first thing we're gonna need is two ounces of your gin of choice, all right? Here we go. Then we're gonna do a half an ounce of pineapple juice. What I do like about these cocktails is that they are very tropical in the ingredients, but at the same time, you know, they're cocktails you can kind of sip slowly and enjoy, all right? Then the next thing we're gonna do is a half an ounce of orange juice. And then we're gonna do a quarter ounce of lemon juice. Now we're gonna do a quarter ounce of simple syrup. And then we're gonna do one dash of Angostura bitters. Two for good luck. All right, now let's just add some ice. Actually, before we do that, let's pull out our coupe because we're gonna be serving this in the coupe and we're gonna pull some ice into our shaker. All right, guys? I'm gonna give that a shake for about 10, 15 seconds. All right, guys, so I think we've given that a nice, healthy shake. Let's go ahead and double strain that into our coupe. All right, looks good. Very nice wash line. And we're gonna go ahead and just garnish that with a lemon wheel and we'll clip it right on here just to be all fancy like, right? There we go. So ladies and gentlemen, there is our Hana Lulu cocktail. All right, folks, let's go ahead and give this bad boy a sippy sip. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. It's funny because the, if you look at the ingredients from this one and the last one, and honestly, even the next one, they're very they're similar. A lot of similar ingredients, you know, right? Those Hawaiian tropical ingredients. But the base spirit, and the portions really matter. I mean, the gin it really comes through and is adding some botanical flavors that you weren't getting in the uh, in the uh, Hale the Hale Kulani cocktail. So that really adds a nice kind of new element to it. And again, what I love about these cocktails, this is a sipping cocktail. It's tropical. It feels nice. You feel like you're sitting in the sun somewhere, but at the same time, you know you gotta take it easy when you drink this thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and give this another sip. Yeah, this is delicious, guys. Absolutely fantastic. A very different cocktail from the last one, but both of them are absolutely fantastic. All right, folks, so let's go ahead and make our last and final cocktail. All right, folks, so uh, the last cocktail we're gonna make today is it's quite of a mouthful to say, but it's a very delicious cocktail, and that is the Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Au Pawa. Wait, let me, let me read that. I think I got it right. Let me see. Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Au Pua. Cocktail. I was close. It's close. Um, and that's actually the name of the, uh, the like, the national fish of the island. Uh, so uh, that's what it's named after. And this, this cocktail can be found in the Smuggler's Cove book, which is one of the greatest books for uh, any kind of tiki or tropical drinks you could find out there. Right, folks? So let's look at what's in the sauce of this cocktail. This one, like the last one, is also a gin-based cocktail. And we're going to want two ounces of your gin of choice. Right, um, no rum cocktails, folks. This is this is uh, not your typical uh, tropical drinks, right? <laughs> then we're gonna do a quarter, a three quarters, three quarters an ounce of lemon juice. So we're gonna use a uh, three quarters an ounce of pineapple juice. Then we're gonna do a half an ounce of orgeat, which is a almond-based syrup. All right, I got a little bit left in here, so I think I have just enough to finish this cocktail here. Oh yeah, that was close, close. And then uh, the next thing we're gonna do is two dashes of Peychaud's Bitter, all right? One, two, all right. Three for good luck. <laughs> all right, and then uh, that's it, folks. So we're gonna give this, uh, put some ice in our shaker. Let's pull out our, this one's gonna be served in a rocks glass, which we got right over here. Okay, let's put some ice in our shaker here. 
And uh, we're gonna also be serving this uh, over chilled ice, over crushed ice. But you can you can you can serve it over rocks if you want, you know, like regular ice cubes and stuff. But we're gonna do it over crushed ice. All right, so let's give it a shake. 10, 15 seconds. All right, folks, I think we gave this a nice shake. Let's go ahead and put our crushed ice into our bag. Um, I like to use a Lewis bag and a hammer. Uh, what I do is I take out my aggression with this thing, <laughs> put some ice cubes in here, just crack it up, crack it up, you know what I mean? There's some ice cubes just on the floor. Come on, we'll go back in here, there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and put some of this crushed ice into our ice, our glass here. Beautiful, all right? So you want to fill it up a little bit there and then put the juice in and then you top it off for more, all right? Now, something else I want to do because I'm going to be garnishing this with a dry pineapple. I'm going to stuff this in now before it gets too high. There you go, right to the side there. Nice and pretty like, all right? Let's go ahead and strain this. You don't have to, let's go ahead and strain this. You don't have to double strain because uh, there's already crushed ice in there. So no point in double straining it, all right? Let's let that boy get in there. All right, beautiful. Beautiful, folks, all right? So then we're just gonna top it off. Let me pull this up a little bit just so we see a little bit better. Then we're gonna do one little cocktail cherry just to make it all purty like because we know we want ourselves a purty mouth in our cocktail. All right, there you go, folks. Woo, wait. Are you telling me that ain't a purty mouth? All right. And uh, we're gonna put our little, where's our little half straw? A little half straw there so we make sure we can get a sip of this bad boy there. All right, folks. And there you have it, our humu humu nuku nuku au pua cocktail. All right, folks, let's go ahead and give our last cocktail of the day a sippy sip. What can I tell you? If it's, if it's, if it's associated with Hawaii, it's probably going to be banging. And this is absolutely banging. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. This one's great because, again, similar ingredients to the last one. It is also gin-based. But the the, the orgeat and, uh, the, and and whatnot, I think, adds like a, a smoother kind of texture to the cocktail. I think the crushed ice also dilutes a little more, so you're not getting as much of those botanicals from the gin as you were before. What you're getting here is a little more tropical notes. Oh man, this is so good! Let me give another sip of sip. Mm. Yeah, so good. These are all absolutely fantastic, guys. If I'm gonna go, my, 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 if I'm gonna put these in order, I'm gonna say my favorite is probably the Helicomani cocktail. You know, I'm a, I'm a bourbon guy, uh, so I mean, I'm picking up that bourbon. I really, really love what it does to the cocktail, and I think it plays really well with the bitters. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one as my favorite. Followed by, it's a very close second between these two, but I'm gonna go with the Humu Humu. I love the crushed ice. I think that, I think that the, the real chill and the added dilution that it uh, really helps Make the cocktail feel even a little more tropical uh, without overdoing it, and uh, I think it's so good. Mm. So fantastic. And the Honolulu cocktail, it tastes like a very classic old school cocktail, tropical style. Fantastic. A little more gin forward. You got a little more of those botanicals again from the gin. So um, I'm going to go with this one as my third cocktail, right, folks? But either way, honestly, you can't. All these are fantastic. They're all delicious, guys, all right? So. A big shout out to my friends Mary and Ray out in Waikiki. Love you guys. Miss you guys. Can't wait to go back to the island and see you guys. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys will be enjoying some of these cocktails out in Hawaii. But if you're not in Hawaii, folks, make them wherever you are. If you're in, if you're in Nova Scotia, if you're in uh, <laughs> anywhere, it, just, it doesn't matter. If there's snow outside or there's palm trees. Make yourself a delicious Hawaii cocktail and escape to the islands, right, folks? Anyway, if you like this video, please press like, please subscribe, and please share with your family and friends. Remember, sharing is caring. I hope everyone's having a great start to their New Year's, and when life gives you lemons, you can make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.